Blue lingcod. They're a rare type of bottom-dwelling species of fish that can have an alluring blue tint inside and out. Interestingly, its cousins, the rock greenling and the kelp greenling, are typically tinted turquoise. Blue lingcod lurk among rocky reefs, which are found from Baja, California to the Gulf of Alaska. They're a fearsome predator that are extremely patient. They indiscriminately ambush their prey, darting out from undercover to catch anything that swims past them that they think they can grab. Up to about age two, male lingcod and females of the species can grow at about the same size, where both males and females reach an average length of about 45 centimeters, 18 inches. Male and female lingcod mature at age three to five years old, reaching 61 to 75 centimeters or 24 to 30 inches. Females, though, they overgrow males, continuing to grow all the way up until they're about 12 to 14 years old. Most lingcod are light beige or whitish gray with pinkish bellies. However, 20% of lingcod have fluorescent green or blue flesh. This fish has a rare bile pigment called biliverdin, which is believed to be the leading cause of these species turning blue. This condition makes the blood serum change to an odd color. How exactly this turns their flesh blue, though, is not well studied or not well known. Biologists, though, believe that strange green and blue hues indicate that lingcod have consumed a diet rich in chlorophyll, eating more plant matter, green algae, or small crustaceans. The blue color in their flesh is an attribute that cooks out and results in the same mild-tasting, medium-firm, white, flaky meat that makes lingcod popular. In Sitka, Alaska, locals commonly call the fish a smurf cod. While nutritional comparisons between blue lingcod and those of normal color remain unclear, many people believe green and blue varieties of lingcod are much healthier and tastier. Lingcod are caught by bottom trawl, long lines, and by hook and line. They're famous, though, for following hooked fish to the surface, and they'll often bite a fish as the angler reels it in, spitting it out moments before the capture. This phenomenon is called hitchhiking. Native Americans were also aware of the hitchhiking tendencies in Lingcod. They would carve fish-shaped lures, drop them all the way to the bottom, and pull them quickly back to the canoe that they were in, and they would spear the lings as they chased the lures to the surface. These fish lack an air bladder. They don't die of borrowed trauma like many associated species of rockfish when they're thrown back in the water. When a small lingcod is caught and released, they have a very good chance of surviving a very long life. These are interesting things with JC.